Yeah, it's it's kind of like um, it's like kind of like the Pinocchio story. Like Pinocchio, there's Geppetto, the the puppet maker, the marionette maker, and then and then Pinocchio. It starts off as a puppet, and then the whole thing is where Pinocchio wants to become a real boy, and it's a drama. You know, he gets taken off into Pleasure Island, and it you know it's some nasty things happen just from wanting to be a real boy. I had a friend of mine who who after studying the course for like 15 years she would she was more and more aware that the body was like a puppet and her prayer to the holy spirit was get me back on the strings get me back on the strings it was the authority problem i don't want to be an autonomous person with an individual separate will and struggling to try to survive and make a living and you know try to fight off disease and death i i get me back on the strings and oh great you know puppet master spirit you move the strings you know like that old song uh, you know if you want to see me do my thing pull my strings if you can sing that to the Holy Spirit you know get me back on the strings and you pull the strings and and let me live a life you know like Saint Francis said make me an instrument you know let that be used that makes all the difference. Now the ego made up time and space, it made up the puppets, and it made up the concept of the doer. You know, in fact, people have said, why don't we call ourselves human beings? We should call ourselves human doings. Uh, that's a much greater description. Human beings, we don't, being. <laughs> what, do we get a few moments of meditation here and alming? And and we go, oh, there's the being, but now let's get back to the important rat race and you know, and doing, doing, doing. Dooby dooby doo, do 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 do, shooby dooby doo. You know, it's it's everywhere. Even Sinatra, just do do do. You know, he Sinatra one time he was he was singing um I did it my way, which is probably the most autonomous song ever. <laughs> and and he collapsed <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> just went down <laughs> with doing that one. When I heard that, I went, yeah, isn't that typical? I did it my way. You know, yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew. <laughs> but through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. You know, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like boom, ego had to go down. He had to go down on the stage. You know, it's just not the way. You know, it's there's no there's no surrender in it. There's no humility in it. There's no humbleness. There's no put me back on the strings. It's more like I am an autonomous being and I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to die. <laughs> you know, and I'm going to die doing it my way and that's that's what the human condition it just and acts that now I need to do nothing is more is coming into that state of stillness where it's not so much that th that the body does something or doesn't do something but the identification with the doer dissolves away you merge is what Sadari was talking about that simultaneous merging with everyone and everything and it's glorious because there is no sense of a doer. There's no sense of individual responsibility. What is our responsibility? We're, we're to be happy. Our creator created us to be happy. And when we try to take on responsibility and duties and obligations that are based on this false self-concept of being a doer, then of course we feel guilt, we feel shame, we feel inadequacy. We feel like it's never enough. We don't feel worthy of love. We feel very unworthy. We feel shameful because we've misidentified with the doer. And we've forgotten about the beer, the being. So this is about being done through. You have to go through a phase where you're done through, where you're back on the strings, where the spirits, you know, laughing through you and smiling through you and hugging through you and singing through you and dancing through you. Ah, that's being done through 
in a way that just every time that it happens, you become more aligned, more aligned with, with the, the Creator, with, with the Source with coming back to that pure s sense of beingness. So, you know, we, we have believed that we are personally responsibility for our survival, you know, and the Spirit's like saying, well, you can change your mind about that, you know. You, know, you need to be neither, neither careful, carefree. You can cast your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. You can open up to that divine inspiration and take away the, the burden of being a human being trying to struggle and s survive and make it. I, for example, I always thought, uh, you know, like when, when we were in preschool, they, they taught us in kindergarten, they taught us to share. That's, that's a spiritual value, sharing. You know, we're here sharing this evening together, you know, June has opened up her home to share her home with us and her dogs with us. And, and then uh, John brought food and, and uh, uh, Sky showed up with some pizzas and da 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 da. There's a spirit of sharing. When I would do these talks and gatherings, the only reason we have lights or that we record these things is for one reason, to share it, you know, to put it out and to share it. And then I've had a few people already here tonight, they say, oh, I just love, I watch, watch your YouTubes every day and I enjoy it. And, and sometimes I've heard people, well, I, yeah, before I go to sleep at night, I just put on some of the MP3s and I listen, I listen. My, hu my husband's like, come on, get that things off your ear. But no, I'm like, oh no, I'm in a, I'm a, what world are you in? I'm in the world I want to be in. You know, it's <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's like they just, it's like giving your mind over and aligning with these ideas and feeling the resonance in your heart with these ideas and then, and strengthening them in awareness and then practicing them in your daily life. And the more you give them away, the more they become your own. You know, they become truly your, the s your spiritual reality. So that's what's been fun for me is just trusting that everything that I need would be provided. I didn't have some kind of a master plan for traveling the world. I, in fact, talk about traveling the world on a shoestring budget. It, I didn't have CDs, money markets, things to invest in and this and this to go out and kind of do the, the hotel motel route. It was more just going and, okay, place opens up here or somebody takes me in there or this or that. Just traveling more like Jesus and the Apostles, and then that just has continued. And even, you know, people will say, well, you can do that, you know, in your local neighborhood or whatever, but you can't do it overseas. But then that started happening. Donated frequent flyer miles. Okay. The spirit, apparently, it's just props. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> we've, we've all been raised with the mentality is you can't do anything in this world without having the resources ahead of time that they would call somebody a fool <laughs> who started to go out to try to do something or travel or do something without having the resources already. But it, it's like they show up. <laughs> they materialize as you go along. If you're being guided by the Spirit, the Spirit's like, no problem. You need some props. Here's this. It's only ego pride that says, oh, no, I can't. I couldn't accept that couldn't accept that. That's what I was doing in the early years. I was, oh, no, I couldn't. Thank you, but I couldn't. No, no, I, I am my own provider, and no, no I couldn't. No, no. Oh, pride, 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 pride. And then the Spirit's like, would you stop that? I, you asked me to help you, <laughs> you know? Like the old story of, you know, the, the, the one that guy was in the boat, and they said, it was, I had to face the same thing, you know? And no, 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 I couldn't. No, absolutely not. No, no. And the Spirit's like, just stop it. Get over yourself, you know? Just, <laughs> would you accept help if you're given sharing and shining happiness and joy? That's an important function. So don't cut yourself short, you know? If there are things involved with that that would be helpful, then, then do that. So that's why 
I've had fun doing all these talks and gatherings, but I've it's even more fun when you get back and you've got the recordings, the little digital videotapes or the, in the early days, camcorders and recorders, and then you put it up on the web and you share it. It's fun to share it. You know, people do write emails back and say, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. It really touched my heart. And, you know, it's like, oh, I, it touched my heart. <laughs> it touched my heart to give it and extend it. And you don't, you know, people have said, David, you just don't get how marketing works. You know, what you should do is, you know, <laughs> stop doing things on donations and put out of, start getting some products. I remember when the first time I went to Australia, my friend Raj down there, he, I stayed at his house. He said, oh, the gathering was great. This was great, this and this. But where's your product? And I said, product? What do you mean, where's your product? He said, you can't keep this up and go around without a product. You've got to have a product. You know, you've got to have something to sell. And it was like, no, I don't really feel like, I mean, there's it's joy in the moment. Like, I've done it for, it was like 15, 20 years where I went around and I, I didn't have product for 20 years. It was fun. I mean, <laughs> it's working. Well, you know, you really should have a product, you know. Or, you know, you put some, but don't put too much free stuff on the web. Because if you put all free stuff, <laughs> then you can't eat. And I said, what do you mean I've been eating all along? <laughs> if I, I am starting to lose my appetite, <laughs> uh, but, but I'm getting into the divine uh, mana. But it's like, but no, I don't, I don't really believe that that's the way that it has to go. I think if, if everything, you know, freely you have received, now freely give, if that was what the way shower taught us, then why not try that out? And, you know, all that I give is given to myself, the Course says. You know, if you keep getting into the joy of giving, wouldn't you be blessed by receiving the gift of giving? And I'm not talking so much material things because the joy is in the attitude, you know. That's priceless. You know, if somebody came up and said, I can give you an enlightened mind, for 1995 <laughs> or something like that and it really worked you know it would be a good investment <laughs> borrow the twenty dollars you know would do something you know to, to get it but but actually it's not that w we can purchase it or that we can bottle it or we can take a pill for it or anything like that it's it's that we have to actually exercise it give it away you know just in the the friendliness just and the, the just the good old wholesome honest friendliness we just keep giving it away and it feels good and we do more of it and even when the naysayers come and say yeah but you're not you know, this is not going to sustain it's just going to be a flesh and it's going to be gone and those the people say no in this world it doesn't work i even had an economics i was in university for 10 years and i remember this man ca hummel the the economics professor, and he would write on the blackboard, there is no free lunch. <laughs> and my whole life I've had thousands of free lunches <laughs> just going and being happy. Or the, you know, you shine your happiness and people roll out their love and hospitality. Everyone wants to have a happy guest for lunch. Who doesn't want to have a happy lunch? <laughs> you know, all of us would love to have a happy lunch. So, you know, it just disproved there is no free lunch. It's like when you're happy, they're all, they all feel free, like free lunches. And it just turns the whole thing around from, from what it was before. Yeah. Puppet.